Gregory Gourdet, and we are here at the Parcher Restaurant and Lounge in Portland, Oregon. And today we're going to make a meatloaf with mushrooms. Really savory, delicious. Be sure to start off with a really all natural blend of about 80% to 20% fat, ground beef. Talk to your butcher, get something all natural for sure. We're gonna add salt, pepper, egg, sesame oil, chili oil, some mushrooms that we've sauteed and deglazed with a little soy sauce and sake, a little cilantro, and a little cut scallions. We'll add a little bit of salt. Be sure to season your beef really well as beef takes a lot of seasoning. It's very fatty. A fair amount of pepper. We're going to add an egg for richness. A little sesame oil for perfume a little toasted chili oil for a little bit of kick. And then we'll add our mushrooms. So like I said, these are just shiitakes that we sliced. We kind of cut with a little garlic and a little ginger, finish them with a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of sugar. And then we'll add our herbs, a little cilantro and a little cut scallion and then we'll mix everything up together. This is a really simple recipe with a lot of things you can have in your cupboard already. So what we're going to do now, we're going to kind of break up the meat fibers because you want a very tender and homogenous meatloaf. So as you can see, I'm just working with gloves on with my fingers, kind of breaking up the meat proteins, incorporating that egg, making sure the oils are very well mixed throughout I'm actually squeezing the meat with my hand. Once things are mixed up a little bit, we're gonna work it a little, even more vigorously. And I can already smell the awesome sesame oil, the mushrooms that have been cooked off, just really earthy and flavorful. And then we'll add our meat. You can use any size shape pan you like. So I've preheated my oven to about 350 degrees. We'll add our meatloaf to the oven for about 20 minutes until it's just juicy and just cooked through. And here we go. We have our wonderful meatloaf, beautiful with the mushrooms on top, juicy, hot, and still tender, just not overcooked. Our meatloaf is very juicy, so you wanna drain off some of the excess fat And then we've saved some of our garnishes from previously and we'll just garnish the top. Some more mushrooms. Some cut onions, cilantro, and we'll just finish off with a little more sesame oil and a little more chili oil. And there you go. Meatloaf with mushrooms.